John Philippi is the man at the front of the field in the sunshine from Felipe Fernandez. Uh, Norbert Mitchell is Tom Coronel just behind will be looking to gain an advantage. The green flag is go. We run down now into La Source for the first time. Mitchell is to the inside. Does Fernandez have the overlap to defend? Yes, he does. Four wide, a little bit further back. Three Lincoln Coes all in the same piece of tarmac, but somehow they managed to shuffle themselves back out and into contention. Frederick Verviz trying to find a way past yesterday's winner, Jan Elishay. Nobby Mitchell is on the run through a rouge alongside for. Fernandez gets the deal done up the hill, very brave from Nobi Mitchell. It's there, but gets it done. Moves the Hyundai Elantra into second, but Fernandez back again around the outside, riding on board now with Martin Guar in the 155. He's looking to get a slipstream of Kobe Powell's, but the Mitchell is Fernandez. Fight continues. Tom Coronel trying to buy in to this one as well. Coronel just painted to the rear of Nobi's car. He sneaks through as well. Fernandez hung out to dry on the edge of Lacombe. The blue Audi there on the curb again. Trying to fight back to Coronel, but Coronel, the wise Tom Coronel, you saw his experience, gets the deal done and moves up into third position. Just behind Nobby Mitchell, is uh, Rob Huff goes deep in a Bruxelles on the overtake, doesn't get the car stopped in time, but he returns and rejoins just behind Kobe Powell, so no harm, no real foul there, no squabble. Further down the running order, we are looking at Frederick Verdish ahead. The forward momentum down the inside is your alarm. Three into two will not go. And unfortunately, Audi is the car that misses out. at this moment in time, putting heavy pressure on Santiago Arutia. Just got past it, Arutia, but Fernandez is not giving this one up yet. The Audi, very slippery here at Spa, Frank Schott. Three laps on the clock now. Nova Mitchell is closing that gap down at the front of the field to seven and a half tenths of a second. But Tom Coronel, teammate to John Philippi, is keeping a watching brief in third position as well. So Coronel will be interested to find a way past and start challenging his teammate as Marching Hua goes too wide with Bebo Girolami through a rouge now over the top of the hill into Radion. Girolami on the inside, Marching Hua in the middle, and then we've got another car trying to buy in of Mikel Athkenar as well as Mitchell is defends at the front of the field for the run down into the comp. Kobe Powell throws it at the inside to Felipe Fernandez but doesn't have enough overlap. Fernandez has to take to the escape road to keep the car on the tracks so Powell's lives to fight another day but look at that fight a little bit further back Athkina, Marching Hua, Ted Pure all separated by absolutely nothing We run down into the Lasso's hairpin huff, hard on the defensive to the inside. Girolame late on the brakes down the inside of Lasso's. Luke Girolame with a dynamite pass there. Can he get the car slowed down in time? Huff retaliates again under acceleration for the run down now to the bottom of the hill and through Oru. Girolame, brave as can be. Kobe Powell's pulls the side of the racetrack, but we're too wide now for the run up Oru. And Girolame gets the deal done. But look here, Girolami sells him a dummy, then throws the car at the last possible moment down the inside. Does well, in fact, to get everything all slowed down and stopped without too heavy a lock. But that is incredibly, incredibly brave from Bebu Girolami. Kobe Powell's that we see there on home soil. We saw him pulling off the side of the track with some kind of issue at the beginning of that race. A real shame for Powell's from the high of winning TCI Europe yesterday. Elishay now Kobe Powell's has had to exit the race, so Elishay is the next driver along and he's quickly caught the back of Fernandez. Will he make a move in a bus stop? Routier throws the car down the inside into the chicane. A little bit of contact as well for good measure. Coronel has to take to the escape road, gets back out of the racetrack. That's all fair in love and war as contact between the Audi and the Lincoln Co. In fact, Marching War going very, very early on the defensive. He's more concentrated on Ted Bjork behind, so Bjork. Can he find a way past a side-by-side -side once again? Huff and Athena, Huff runs out of racetrack, uses the escape road, 
rejoins nice and safely and that fight will continue I feel into the final couple of laps try to vote now with Lincoln Co. Cyan Racing's marching hard car 65. Best seats in the house to see Athcona and, uh, and uh, Rob Huff going side by side. In fact, Marching Hard decides this looks like fun, boys. Can I get myself involved in this one as well? You've got the ball. Let's play the game. Coronel and Arutia continue their little squabble. Arutia has to go off of the racetrack to get that deal done. There's some damage on Coronel's car, which suggests they've been a little bit closer than comfort would dictate in the previous laps, but just about Tom Coronel holding on for third position. Through Blanche we go for the final time. John Philippi started in pole position, courtesy of the reverse grid, led away from the start and hasn't put a foot wrong since. The bus stop chicane is the last obstacle between Frenchman John Philippi and race victory in TCR Europe. The Kumo TCR World Tour. Philippi takes the checkered flag, takes the victory at Spa Francorchamps. The lights are flashing, the arms are pumping, and that is a masterclass from John Philippi to take the flag. Like last lap, Marching Hua and Isaac Smith are getting together as well. Light contact between the two, but Smith just about squeezes his way through to take the flag behind teammate Lewis Brown ahead of Marching Hua. Great to see how much this means to John to take the race victory and for come to you to win again on home soil. First and second in class, first and third overall. Je m'explique, voilà pour...